Welcome to the Life Motivators. We are here again today to show you love. If you missed the weekend and didn't see the recordings of, is because you needed to be there live. This weekend, we talked about all kinds of things within the community to be able to do something more with life, doing more with you. What are you finding that's making you a better person? Today, the topic is going to be about what are you doing today to make your future self happy? When that you can look back, let's say five years from now, if not 10, and then look back at all the things that you've been able to do, the places you've been able to go, the places you've been able to grow in within your life. Because that's what we've been all about within this community right here is growing within yourself, getting that self-analyzation every day so you can align with that true being that you are sent here to be. That awesomeness that you already have, that creative power that we all came here with. And this morning, as we all co-creating within this community, and we're bringing out different ideas of things that we have sacrificed throughout our time frame to elevate our life to another level, the things that are we doing now to build for the future. If we would have known half the things that we have done or been able to have different situations in life, then our time frame earlier would have been a whole lot better. But yet we weren't ready then. We weren't in alignment then. We were still going and growing and going through the physical and mental and spiritual changes all throughout life. And then now as things are starting to align and we're starting to awaken to the better of us, of what we can do, a better being, a better person. And it all started with some of the seeds that you planted way back then. The things that you learned from in your past that you've learned and grown to be a better person. Those were seeds that you planted. And yes, seeds get planted in the dark as we all. And then we, Get a little bit of nourishment and water. Then we get a little bit of sunlight. And then what happens? We all start to grow. And the things that we did within our past or just a few months ago is elevating our life to be something better today. And we're all going to harness that right there. And we're going to increase ourselves just right there. And then to the seeds that we've planted today, guess what? Our future self is going to like that because the things that we're making better within ourselves. The happiness that has to start within the morning times that many people didn't. We got up, we jumped, we ran, went to the job site, took care of everybody else and their things and their situations and their problems. But yet we weren't ever, ever to take care of our own because we was always dealing and harnessing and looking at everybody else's. And that energy was sucking away from us. And then we're just becoming beings walking on this earth. But these people that you see on the screen today have shifted their life and their energy into a different direction by thinking understanding and knowing that the power that you have planted with those seeds in the past and the seeds that you plant today, your future self will say thank you because you're finding a better path for you to go, a better path for you to be able to grow, a better path for you to be able to move your life into happiness, joy, and enjoyment. That peace and that harmony that you find within, it's all with you, no one else. You came here with it. When they patted you on your little butt and you got that first breath of air, that is what you want every day from here on out. If somebody held you underwater, would you not be scratching and pulling and tugging, trying to get that more air? Yes. So I'm going to tell you, quit holding yourself underwater. Let yourself come up and breathe. You have planted the seed. Now grow with it and have fun with it. And as you're doing the things within life that you have been learning, guess what? You're going to keep learning. And tomorrow you're going to learn something else as you, you know, today. And the day after that, you're going to learn something else. And as you're learning, you're planting new seeds within you and having fun with it all along. Because if you're not, reevaluate. Because if you're not keeping a smile on your face and looking at the sacrifices that we said a minute ago that we have been making and the time that we're able to allot in some of those areas to nourish our body with the readings, with the journaling, writing new stories, podcasting, videoing, YouTubing, because your story matters. Everything that you have been through within life matters. And there's many people out there that resonate with your story of life just as well. But guess what? As you are growing to get out of that, that story that you're doing of your growing, could assist someone else to see a different perspective of life, a different way of thinking, a different way of speaking to yourself. 
That is what I have been doing within here is the things that I have been learning, I've been bringing back. This is my way of giving something more back to the world with a touch of a button. And that way many people can see the videos that we do, the conversations that we have within here, and the seeds that we're planting in others. Because I see leaders in each and every face, each and every being that's is walking out there, you are a leader. And you're nothing but awesomeness. And I see it within each and every person. And a lot of times they may not. And it's kind of hard for me to talk to someone that is not in the same elevation of thinking when I can see the greatness within you. And that's all I want you to do is see it too. That's all I want you to know and understand is you are nothing but awesomeness. And I see it, a light, and I see it an energy that vibrates so great, but sometimes you're harnessing it. You're not letting it out. You're containing it within that little pot, I guess you'd say. You know, when you first get a little plant and it's in a little bitty flower pot and you plant that plant, when it starts to grow, what's happening inside that pot? The roots can only go as big as that pot. You're going to have to sometimes remove it and replant it in a bigger pot. And then the roots can grow some more. Then the plant can grow some more. But if you put it right into the ground of the earth, how big could you truly grow? Unstoppable, unlimitless. You have all abilities within you to grow as big as you want. Keep nourishing yourself. Keep giving yourself the good words. Keep reading. Keep diving into something that is inspiring you to do more. That's all. Do something today that your future self will love and do it every day. And as you're watching it grow and watching as you watch you grow as you're doing it, you're going to look in that mirror and you're going to be, wow, look at where I was at just last year. Look where I'm at today. Look where I was at just three years ago that went by in a blink of an eye. Working for someone else three years ago, now working for myself for the last three years. Wow, went by in a blink of an eye. The nourishments of everybody that we have seen within here, the growth that we have seen within the people on these screens, just within a short period of time of the last three years. Having fun with it and enjoying life. That's what it's all about knowing where you want to go and where you want to grow may change as you get bigger and bigger within your own roots. We all have new journeys every day of where you want to go. Enjoy it. It's a great day to have a great day, my friends. Go ahead, brother. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm loving the, this, the concept of using the analogy of the seed to describe our lives, to describe our minds, where we want to go, the things that we want to do. Um, I think it's a beautiful, it's, it's a beautiful analogy to, to explore mentally because there's so many aspects that we could kind of speak to, even if it's in reference to symbolism, you know, and the symbolism of, of, of our lives. If you think about it, if you're, if you're constantly tending to your garden, then, you know, the only things that you want to grow there will be the things that are grown. You know, um, if you're constantly, uh, um, you know, watering your own garden and tending to the weeds that are in that garden, you know, then, you know, things that, that you want to grow will grow and things that you want to flourish will flourish. And, but if, you know, if you think of a person who's kind of going about life, you know, going with the motions or going with, you know, whatever uh, the direction that, that life is, uh, is leading that individual versus us directing our own lives and being intentional, you know, and how we're tending to our garden, you know, how those two uh, can have a contrast, how those two can have two completely different outcomes in your life. You know, if you're not tending to the garden, it's equivalent to telling yourself the, the, the proper story. You know, um, if you think of the concept of, of watering, you know, if you think of the concept of, uh, of sunlight, you know, if you think of the concept of, of nurturing the plants, you know, that are in your garden. Um, think of, of weeds, you know, in your life as things that you know that don't belong there, things that you know aren't serving you, you know, things that, are, that, that you know, could be taking away from you or sucking out the life, 
you know, from you. Think of what a weed does. If you have a weed next to, to a, a fruit or a vegetable or some type of other plant, chances are that plant, that fruit, that vegetable, the aspects, the fruitfulness of your life, it might be choked out by something. You know, it might be, a, a, you might not be getting everything that you need because of that weed, because of the, you know, the aspects of our life that we need to, you know, bring about some order to, or things that we need to get rid of, or the fat that needs to be cut off, or the bad relationships that we're in, you know, or uh, the bad financial decisions that you're making, or, you know, things that you could be restructuring, rethinking how you're going to process differently, how you're going to react to life differently, how you're not going to make the same mistakes over and over and over again. You know, the concept of the seed in itself, Thomas, like a seed is something good. We know it's, we, we know it's, it's good because it's a seed, you know, it's going to produce, you know, that of which it is. So if we have an apple seed is going to, we're going to produce apples. We have orange, we're going to produce orange or a pear or, you know, or strawberries or, or blueberries. We're, we, regardless of what that seed is, we're going to produce what we're intentionally trying to produce there. You know, but we have to be intentional about that. We have to be directional about that. We have to, to do that on purpose, like tending to our garden, you know? We have to be willing to let go of the seed, right? We have to plant it. We have to water it. We have to nurture it. We got to give it some sunlight, you know? Maybe give it some additional uh, special water treatment or certain nutrients in order for it to grow and flourish as a plant or as a fruit, as a vegetable, as whatever it is that we plant it. So we have to be willing to let go of something good in order to produce something great. In order to get the more of what life has to offer, sometimes we have to, you know, plant that little seed in order to have a great harvest, in order to have a good livestock, in order to, to you know, produce something great. What do we have? We have to be willing to let go. So you have to be willing to allow, I've heard, I've said this on here before, but to give you the description first, we have to be willing to let go of something good so we can get the great that life has in store for us. Where it be business, relationship, finances, you know, sanity, you know, uh, uh, presence you of mind, peace of mind, you know, the weight that is upon our hearts and our shoulders every single day. We have you to be know. willing to let go. Want to add something to that, Thomas? Ego? Yeah. Oh, ego. That's, yeah. That's it right there. I've had to slay my ego over and over and over and over again. Slay my pride, you know? Who do I think I am to who other people think I am and who I truly am? Instead of me, you know, being somebody I'm not, you know, for me to be the best version of me, I, I, I have to be me. I can only be me. I can't be something fake. I'm not putting on a show for somebody. I am, I'm giving an individual, giving you guys my authentic self every single day, day in and day out, you know, that I would produce the best harvest that my life has for me, that this life has for me, you know, that what today has for me, yesterday is long and gone. I only have today, living in the moment of now, making the most of the opportunities that we have today, making the most of who you are, who you're aspiring to do, to, to be, you know, visiting your goals, Staying focused, you know? If you think a seed is just a seed, if you're sitting there and you're hungry and you want a plentiful high harvest of, of pears, of apples, of, of peaches, or whatever, you gotta be willing to let go of the seed. You gotta be willing to plant it. You gotta be willing to nourish it, to water it, to give it sunlight, to do all the things that are needed in order to produce that harvest so you can produce good fruits. We could eat that seed and it'll be like crunchy and it'll be ant. Eh, kind of maybe bitter in our mouth or we could wait and we could plant and we could nurture our own hearts, our own minds, our own souls, you know, nurture our own life and start shaping our own life so we could have that plentiful, so we could have the more that life has to offer, so we could have that great harvest, you know, got to be willing to let go of something small in order to get something bigger and better. How are we ever supposed to enjoy it? You know, it's about the time you're investing in you. You know, the intentional list that you're living in, you know, how are you directing your life? Are you allowing life to direct you? You know, how are you planning out and structuring your days in simplicity, man? Learning your own financial habits, your spending habits, or, 
how you're spending your time, the stewardship of your day. You know, all of those things are gonna produce certain type of results. You know, if I'm sitting and I go and I plant something in a garden and I walk away a year later, can I hope for a harvest? It's gonna do all the work by itself? I think not. I think we're gonna have to toil that ground. I think we're gonna have to water. I think we're gonna have to make sure it gets proper sunlight. I think we're gonna have to make sure that weeds don't grow. I think we're gonna have to maybe nurture, maybe put some sticks up, do all kinds of different things in order to make sure what we've planted grows. In order to make sure where we're, where we're heading, where we're trying to go is intentional. In order to make sure that we're gaining ground in our own life. We've got to spearhead this thing. That's the heavy lifting of our own lives, right, Thomas? We're always yeah. talking about it. And Nobody it's just like it's just like grooming yourself every day. You know, you get up. Guys, we shave. Some shave, some don't. You know, just gotta brush that hair, shampoo it. If not, you gotta start looking raggy, doesn't it? You know, you always make it sure you go out of the house with nice clothes on, you know, because it makes you feel good. You are nourishing you with that happy feeling that you're giving yourself. So every day as you're grooming you, you're nourishing that self. You're nourishing you. As you go to the gym, you're nourishing you, that body. You're working on yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, so what are you feeding yourself every day matters. Not just the food, but the body and the middle, mental side and your spiritual side. That's right. Those are the seeds. Investing in the seeds of life. So you can what? Reap a harvest. So you can grow. So you can get to your goals, so you can, you know, feel accomplished in life, so you can get to where you need to go, so you can start telling yourself the right story and not the wrong story, so you can live that life of being intentional, that life of true abundance that it has to offer you. It's all available to each and every one of us, man. It's about being intentional in your direction in order to get there, you know, thinking of, of the plentiful that's already waiting for you. We have everything we've ever needed, guys. Everything that we've ever needed, we don't have to go searching out anywhere to go get it, to go obtain it. It's already within us. We just have to practice the discipline. We just got to, to, to practice what we're preaching. We just got to keep our eyes on the prize. You know, continue to nourish what you've already planted, you know, and continue to sow good seeds because you'll go, you will reap a harvest into people, places, and things. You know, what you sow into life, we will reap back in a harvest in one way, shape, fashion, or form. It is the golden rule. It is how these, these, these laws that we live under operate, man. Mm -hmm. That law of attraction, the thing that you focus on the most, what, that which you are, you will reproduce, you will attract to yourself. What are those things? What do those things consist of in your life? Sir, ma'am, whoever you are watching this, man, think about that. Only you can decide where your life is going to go. Your life will change when you change. Life isn't happening to us. It's happening for us. We talk about it all the time in here. Man. Love you guys. Man. Much love and appreciation, brother. And enough appreciation to know that we are moving ourselves each day by holding each other accountable for the things that you say you want to do. That's You're not right. doing it for us. You're doing it for you. We're here as accountability partners. We're here as people that will support you. We're here as people to understand that your story matters and understands that you are a leader within your life in the direction that you're wanting it to go and grow. You say you have something you want to do. We want to see it happen. We want you to succeed in everything that you're doing, no matter what it is, as long as you are moving in a right direction. Everybody in here has figured out their light is a shining bright. And it's going to shine every day. We need that vitamin D. We need that water and that nourishment. We need the books. We need to be able to grow with each other every day. This is not something that, oh, I did it in school for so long. I don't want to do it again. No, we're going to do it for the rest of our life. We're going to grow, continuously grow every day. And we love and appreciate it. And we're thankful that we can. We're thankful that we still have the eyes to be able to watch and read the books and all of that stuff, to see our children run around and play, to be able to hold and catch the play ball, all that stuff. We're thankful that we have the physical abilities we do. We're thankful every day that we're growing. But the best part about it, yes, we did resin with the trees earlier and the root systems. But just remember, 
your feet doesn't have roots. Your body is here to move and travel across the country to meet other people, to see places, to do things every day. We are made for that. Our move. One foot forward every day. One foot forward. Every moment, every place, even trying to go upstairs. Yes. Raja M., you're going to, have to read the affirmations for us today. Miss Shannon is traveling at this time frame right now, so Roger has stepped up and is going to read some affirmations for us. Go ahead, brother. Good morning, everyone. Uh, remember where you have been and know where you are going. Life is not a race, but a journey to be savored each step of the way. Thank you very much, sir. Each step of the way. It's your choice. It's where you want to go with it and what you want to happen within life. We love and appreciate you all. We are the Life Motivators. We're in here seven days a week. And if you haven't caught us live on the weekend, you need to come in. We're family. We're communicating. We're chatting. We're co-creating live on the weekends as well. We may not record those. Why? Because everybody, we spend maybe a couple hours in there because everybody is able to talk, chat, spend their time. These mornings that we have right here that are recorded are structured. So that way it doesn't take up your entire morning. That way you can come in, grab a message, and you're able to go out with a smile on your face, happiness within your heart. We are the Life Motivators. We love and appreciate you all. We'll see you all tomorrow.